afternoon. I'm coming to you with a quick message of BAM! Detox. All the time we hear, detox, got to detox, got to do a cleanse, I, all this stuff. I've got to fast, I've got to do a juice fast, water fast, dry fast. I'm going to tell you the best way on my journey that I have learned to detox and, and that is most beneficial and works for the biggest majority of people. Over time, I have done a over 10-day water fast, only water. I have had a 45-day spurt of a juice fast, another 30-day, and another 30-day. And I derived grand benefits from those. But then again, I was on my journey at a point where I could tolerate that. My system, it was not like I ate at, um, I don't know, the steakhouse every night of the week, and then the next day I went on a water fast. I did it unsupervised. I did not go to bed. I, I raised two kids while I did that, and a husband, and cooked it, slung it out, served it, and said, yes, sir, you know. So it wasn't like my life stopped. But I, there was a lot of building up to that, and most people are not ready for that. It's going to churn up things in your guts and in and it, it's like if you, you're a fish tank and there's slime all over the sides, okay? And then you start brushing that down and all that's circulating in your system. Most people cannot and will not be able to tolerate that unless they are far enough along on their journey. But here is a great way to detox your body to give you a jump start, not slowing your metabolism, getting you on all raw. It is a great jump start is what it is. Um, an 80-10-10 raw vegan easy detox plan. Here we go. First of all, why would you do that? Why would you want to do that? Maybe you want to give your digestive system a rest. Maybe all this fruit and vegetables you're eating that you're not used to and all the, all the fiber and all the salads you don't even know how to chew correctly are just not digesting. You're bloated all the time. You don't understand how to combine correctly. Um, you're still learning and your body's still learning. It would be a great time to do this. You're going to flood yourself with the calories, the nutrients, the vitamins and minerals you need. You're not going to put your metabolism at a standstill, a halt, because it thinks, oh, you're starving me. Let me hold on to everything and slow down. No, it's going to boost up your metabolism. Um, Most people are not ready for a full, like a detox on a juice fast. They're just not. And sometimes I see people doing that, and then I'll see them eating like Skittles and saying, oh, well, I just had that. Then that's not really a juice fast. It's not a, well, that's actually a juice feast. But it's not a water fast if you're having four pots of coffee that day. You know what I mean? Uh, again, we're lying to ourselves. But this is something people can do. Also, when you go on a juice fast versus this, what I'm going to tell you about. There's no fiber in juice. There's, it's very hard to stabilize your blood sugar, and this is a big issue to people. It causes people to binge, to go into a binge mode. Um, it causes people to get shaky and jerky and, and upset, and they become grumpy Smurf. You know, this won't do that to you. You will still be happy Smurf. Um, another thing, a juice fast will cost you some big dollars. I hope your wallet's fat because you start juicing all the fruits and vegetables and greens and ultimately um, you are going to spend a lot of money because for you to get the calories and, and fill yourself up on that and you're throwing away all that beneficial fiber, just get your wallet ready. This is not going to do that. You know, I'm going to give you an example of a day of a liquid detox, okay? Um, you could do this for five, seven days. You could do it 30, 60, 90 days. It is not a thing you're going to have to think. Uh, another thing about a, a typical fast or feast of, of just juice, or it leaves you with a very empty feeling. It leaves you with, well, when this is over, I can begin my life. When, when this is, when I finish this, I will be. This is something you can insert into any midweek. You can insert it because, dang, you just didn't have enough time, or you wanted to have a little, um, better mental clarity. You wanted to have a little edge at the meeting. You know what I mean? Um, your kids are getting on your nerves. It's the middle of summer and they're out of things to do and you're out of energy. This can rev that up. Um, you're not going to have to climb in the bed and stop your life to do it, which I think is ridiculous anyway. But um, it, 
will help your digestion, mental clarity, energy, focus, time, it'll give you more time. You'll be thinking less about it. You'll just be doing your plan. Almost semi-pre-digested food, a calming effect, a colon cleanse. Cleansing out your colon. You talk about waking up with a flat tummy every day. This is the way to start that off. You're going to need to chew each bite. By the way, a little tip, you've probably heard me say this before, but if you're not doing this, this is imperative um, to your digestion. Anytime you eat a raw soup, soup, um, smoothie, what you need to do is almost, you can almost use it like, like you would think of taking a spoon in and chewing each bite so that you do have the, the saliva and digestive enzymes and fluid helping to break that down as it goes into the tummy and assimilating properly. Um, what else do I want to tell you about this? So here's a good example of what you can do. For breakfast, you would start out with, you would make your smoothie. Let's say you're going to have spinach, banana, and water. Depending on your caloric intake, I'm not going to tell you how many calories right now because you're not the same person as, as you are listening to me, you know? Maybe you are, um, I don't know, a triathlete and you're go, go, go. Or maybe you're somebody that sits your hiney on the couch all day and watches some reruns of Jerry Springer, which is stressful, but still not the same calorie in and out are you going to need, you know? So let's just say you're having your spinach, banana, and water smoothie. Then come lunch. Let's say you go with mango and kale. Simplistic is what I'm trying to tell you. And the reason I said those is because add enough water that's a very... Mangoes and bananas have more calories, you know? But let's just say you're going to have orange and spinach in the morning. Whatever, but if you eat oranges, you're going to need to look at the calories is what I'm saying on that. But a fruit, a greens, and a water, okay? And then at, and then at dinner, well, let's just say you need a snack. Again, with the fruit and a greens. In dinner, you're going to have like more of a liquefied salad or things when you think you need your veggies at night. Um, let's just say you have spinach, scallions, tomato, celery, red pepper, yellow pepper, a little avocado, maybe a little chia seeds in there. You know, it's your healthy fats going to go in there in the evening. You could put a little chia seeds in your morning smoothies if you feel like you're having a hard time staying on there because that really helps stretch those out gives you grand omega-3 fatty acids, keeps you mentally clear. And then, you know, you're going to have at least 64 ounces of water in addition to that to flush these toxins out of your body that are going to be stirred up. You're going to have maybe lemon and ginger warm water. If you want the warm meal at night, you know, kick it up in your Vitamix long enough that you are going to warm up the soup a little bit. If you're not sure how long to do that, start with a little thermometer in there so you can make sure you're not harming any enzymes in the process of that, you know. But I'm just saying, fruit, greens, water, blend. Fruit, greens, water, blend. V8 style dinner with a little bit of fat in there, blend. At least 64 ounces of water added to that. Lemon, ginger, um, warm water detox for the win. It is simple as that. You want to cleanse out your system and cleanse out your mind and create harmony in your body. It's a great way to do it. You will be satisfied, you know. It'll give you a mental break, digestive break, flooding you with nutrients. I find it even more cleansing than just um, a mono island. I do enjoy those, but anytime I go to a mono island, I am having greens. I never exclude my greens. Um, I like to have... It's like a blood infusion to me. You know, I just don't exclude that because somebody told me it was a good idea. I know what's good for my body, and that's what works for me. But the thing is, when you're on a let's say on a mono island, you had, I don't know, 10 mangoes for lunch, and you feel like very bogged down. When you could have had the greens and the water blending in there with it, a little bit less mangoes, got more detox and more energy benefits from that. See what I'm saying? Um, not that I'm knocking the mono island because I do enjoy that. Um, it's not going to feel like you're waiting for your life to begin. You're going to feel satisfied and happy with this. So I just thought I would come to y'all with the, um, we will call it the 80-10-10 Raw Vegan Easy Detox Plan. Bam! <laughs>
much time are we going to waste? How, how many days, how many hours, days, weeks, months, until we're going to get on track and say, you know what, today's the day that I'm worth it, I'm good enough, I'm going to take some time to change me because I want to be the better version of myself so I can be that for the people that I love, you know? When is that day going to be? I think today sounds good.